and welcome to the European Football Debate here on Skype. I'm Mina Rizuki and I'm joined by Gary Knox. Say hello, Gary. Stuart Hi, Fuller. Say hello, Stuart. Hi, hello. Oliver Sparrow. Say hello, Oliver. Hi, guys. And Jonathan Fadukba. Hello. Hello. Okay, so this is the greatest competition when it comes to European football. Do you think that the greatest players, the likes of Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Cristiano Ronaldo and Wayne Rooney will actually perform. I think it just depends what their, you know, how closely their national team resembles their club side. So, Ibrahimovic, you know, he plays in a great side now, brilliant league form, scores loads of goals. But that's all very well, but we're talking about an international tournament. Go back four years to uh, the games they played in Austria, he was dreadful. His <laughs> attitude stank, there was rows within, the, within there, he fell out massively with Henrik Larsson. Um, his international career is always going to be one of, you know, must try harder. I, I, I think going into 2008, he hadn't scored for something like three years or something for the national team. When really done it to a certain extent as well. He's not brilliant for England. He's no way quite as well as he does for Manchester United. Um, and he gets annoyed and then he drops back and tries to do too much. You know, he doesn't play a striking role. With regards to Ronaldo, do you think the fact that they've got a new coach might help Portugal's chances now? I think most fans tuning in aren't really going to care that Portugal have got a new coach. They'll be interested to see whether the big man's going to step up to the plate and perform. Um, and I think it's very much a personal issue for, for Ronaldo. But maybe he can turn things around this time. And he's one of the best players in the world and he's been scoring goals for fun. So let's see if he can do it for Portugal. I think what makes um, this tournament very interesting, especially with Portugal, is the group they're in. I mean, they couldn't have asked for a, a harder group, really. You look at that group, and it is the traditional group of death. You know, you can't really pick a winner. I mean, even, you know, the Dutch, you've got the leading scorer in the Premier League, the leading scorer in the Bundesliga. Um, the Germans, who are going to be incredibly well marshaled and got a very young team coming through. And people have written off the Danes, but... Christian Eriksen, an incredibly good, young, talented player. And if you're looking for a potential star of the tournament, um, I'd have a look at him. So if we say that Group B is probably the group of death, would you all agree that Group A is probably the easiest group going in? By, by some distance, yeah. <laughs> I think uh, you look at the Danes in Group B, and then they must be looking at Group A and thinking, well, <laughs> why are we doing this one? I think the Greeks, they just don't have that presence going forward. I can see the Russians doing well. I think that home spirit will take the polls through, and I think the Czechs, again, will just fall by the wayside, as they've done virtually in every tournament since '96. But is there a chance that Poland might not qualify? I think Poland will be fine. They've got Robert Lewandowski, from, again, from Dortmund, who's been on fire this season and heavily linked to Manchester United um, in the summer. I don't think he'll move this year, but, um, yeah, I think with firepower like that, and a lot of their players are playing top level in Germany. I know there's a history of their players playing in Germany, but they've got three at Dortmund. There's, there's, there's strength down that team, even though they're not sort of star names in sort of the UK household. Okay, so Group C, obviously Spain is everyone's favourite to go through. Do anyone think that Croatia can actually qualify? Yeah, stop, I think I, stop, I, you know, stop I, stop Italy, yeah. I personally think they'll go out in the first round. I think they did the same in the World Cup. How can you think that? I don't know why, but I have this feeling that Ireland are, are going to do something in this tournament. So, um, yeah, I think obviously there's going to be a casualty in that group. And if I had to pick one, it would probably be uh, Italy. This is like a team that knows how to perform at the big stage. And you're trying to tell me that Ireland, who had to go into playing the playoff, is actually going to nick a win over this? Are we being serious? No, yeah. I, don't, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but I'm pretty... I really can't see how Italy are going to qualify. I mean, they, they could obviously easily qualify, but I, I think that in terms of looking for upsets, I think that's a potential upset. I think their midfield's a bit weak. I can see how you see... How is the midfield like, weak, exactly? They have Pirlo, they have De Rossi, and they have Marquisio. De Rossi is a good player, but I've, I've just never seen enough from him that actually marks him out as being you know, enough to control the game, take Italy to the final. De Rossi's going to play in, center, in the centre of defence, am I right in saying? That's if they decide to go for a 3-5-2, which is probably the best formation that they can play. Um, which is probably the only country that's actually going to play a 3-5-2 formation. It looks like the most, most countries are opting for a 4-2-3-1. What do you think? 4-4-2 is dead, right? Yeah, absolutely. I just did that. <laughs> dead everywhere but England. 
oh, now we can talk about a team that might not qualify since everyone was so downcast about the team that I'm supporting. Um, what about England? <laughs> Do they have a chance of qualifying out of their group? Yeah, yeah. definitely. England are going to bring themselves up that one game. And if they can beat Sweden, then I think we'll go through in second place. The issue then is we almost certainly face Spain. Oh, because you're guaranteed that Spain is going to come out first in that group. Absolutely, oh. yes. Okay, okay. I think I think it's one of the best and most enjoyable times to be actually an England fan going into a major championships. We don't have any expectation. The squad's decimated. Rio Ferdinand's not been picked for whatever reason that um, you know the FA are spinning a yarn on. But you just never know. I think they'll get out of the group. Nobody will mind if they go out to Spain. So there's absolutely no pressure on them. They might actually come first in that group. As much as um, France is probably strong, I'm still worried about the fact that that centre-back partnership of Adel Rami and Philippe Mexes is abysmal in my opinion. What do you think that are their chances? OK, go back to what you just said there, Mina. I mean, you talked about the centre-backs. France's first game is against England. And those centre-backs have got to worry about Andy Carroll, perhaps? <laughs> Welbeck. OK, Andy Carroll and Welbeck? No, maybe one of them. They're yeah, not but, say that. but you're, are you basically not saying that they're good enough? Uh, they're hardly Premier League quality. What about you, Oliver? What do you think? I've got a horrible feeling that Steven Gerrard's going to be the one that tanks. Um, He's been promoted to captain. He really hasn't impressed in the two warm-up games. Um, he just doesn't fit into the England team. And to be honest, I'm not sure he fits into the Liverpool team much anymore either. You mm. cannot tell him to positionally where to play because yeah. he doesn't understand. And so Liverpool built this team around him. And one of the reasons why Lampard and Gerrard has never worked is Lampard is very disciplined as to where he plays. And Gerrard never has been. Yeah. And I think that... We're going to make it worse. Putting him as captain is oh, he's poor. He's not a leader. I'm sorry. but OK, let's lift the spirits a bit. Which two teams do you think will get to the final? I think the two most exciting teams in my eyes, France and Netherlands, are going to make the final. Um, I think Spain will get edged out and hopefully we'll have a final that's a bit more exciting than the World Cup. What about you, Gary? Well, i double check to make sure I'm not talking nonsense, but if they... Both top of the group, I can only see Spain against Germany in the final. Um, to me, by far the best two teams in the tournament. Holland uh, just a step down, and no one else is really anywhere near what they could or have been in the past. Okay, Stuart, you're not um, there. I'd love to see a, a France Germany final. I think that would be a really, really good game. Uh, I wouldn't be adverse to seeing the Dutch in, in there, so one of those three, um, or two of those three, would be a really good final. And Jonathan? I think certainly uh, Germany have the, the strength in depth to go all the way um, and, 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 and potentially win the tournament. I think they're just, the, even the players who are not guaranteed to start, like the likes of um, Royce, Mario Götze, they just have talent in, in abundance. Um, so I, I think they'll get to the final. Who will join them? For some reason, I just I think maybe watching Chelsea this season, you know, get their way to the Champions League final win. Gives me some sort of feeling that there could be an upset in this tournament, and um, I, I, I'm not really too sure in terms of who can meet who um, all the way. But I think I think France could be one to watch out for, and for some reason I also think that Russia could, could if they if they win their if they win their group if they manage to avoid Germany in the, in the next round if they qualify, then I think Russia could pull us a surprise or two. Yeah, yeah my dark horse, and uh, I backed it up with a fiver this morning. It's been Poland. I just think obviously co-hosts they've got. Quite a strong squad in there, you know. They're an easy group, and with a bit of uh, a bit of luck and a get a bit of a run on them, you just never know where they go. Okay, thank you so much for joining us on the Skype European football debate. We're going to say bye to each one of you. So, um, can we get to Jonathan, please? Jonathan Fudugba from Just Football. Can we also say goodbye to Oliver Sparrow? Hi. Oliver from A Football Report. Can we get Stuart Fuller there from the Ballers Round? Thank you. See you later. And of course, Gary Knox from Football 365. See you later. Thank you. This is me. Over and out. See you.